everybody and welcome to Monday's interview series talking about relationships. Uh, due to difficult, uh, technical difficulties today is going to be only me but I promise you I'll keep it nice and short, sweet and very informative. And for those who are joining us for the first time, um, we, um, we do interviews on uh, Mondays about relationships and um, and there are other um, interviews regarding health and so on and so forth on the website so if you want to keep informed here we go um, so hello everybody again um, today I'm going to talk about love and the ultimate relationship and um, this is a this is a subject that can be <laughs> we can speak about it forever um, but coming from the power and the difference that makes in into a relationship because I believe that if relationships are looked into a different way if relationships are actually considered to be more than just uh, someone that you're going to be living with or someone that you're going to be having a child with or someone who you're going to be um, just together with and spending time I believe that if people looked deeper into relationships love has a purpose I see relationships have a purpose and that purpose is to actually see deeper into the person itself I believe that love is the ultimate power that can actually award, allow you and award you to actually seeing the person in depth so what do I mean by that okay so if you see a person let's say you say you are falling in love with somebody or you you know you see your child and you love them very much or your parents or your your friends or your as i said loved ones do you see just the person itself or can you really look deeper into the person can you allow love to actually take over because you know most of the times when a person feels love they kind of get like scared frightened in a way that society has taught us that love is not safe that people get hurt and so on and so forth but love love is a force and that force can actually allow you to see a person in their true self in the true essence so if you can really really look a person without actually thinking without having any filters about the person or even how they were before in the past because normally people will see a person and they see that person through the knowing of who they were so like they will um, kind of label them in the, in the sense of who they were before but you know what happens if you consider that this person has actually changed can you really stop your thoughts about the person can you really stop your thoughts about the person and actually look at them and what would you see then if you're willing to look through unconscious attention and this is a, this is a term that we spoke about earlier before unconscious attention is something that you you can learn to actually apply on a daily life unconscious attention is the attention of your unconscious mind and if you look a person through unconscious attention you will see much more to that person than you actually think or even actually that you have seen before and that more is that essence in the person that light that life force that energy that universal creation that lays in each one of us but are we willing to really look deeper into the person and I believe that relationships are all about actually seeing that in the person and able to actually see it will allow you to to see the, the most magnificent thing that is alive there that that is the whole purpose of living is actually to be able to see that essence that is alive um, and I believe that if people can really see that in someone they will never treat them again the same they will be more in interest of how to bring that out and more of the person like literally once you see the most beautiful thing in the world you know seeing it in your child when he's born you can see the child how clear they are you can actually see it in the child so what happens if you can see it in the child you can actually you can actually see it in in in, in anybody you know if you've seen that essence for first time in somebody i believe that you can actually see it in anybody if you're willing to look and why is this important well i see it like this 
love is the ultimate force that will allow you to see that in a person. So that's why I say love is for the brave. Love is not for somebody who is, um, who is gonna like freak out or even scared to allow itself to love. Like because it's a power that needs to come through you. It needs to come through you and outside of you. Uh, and then it touches people, but also it allows you to see in depth and it allows you to see that essence in the person. And I believe, uh, and I'm going to say it again and I'll keep saying it, it is all about seeing somebody. Because imagine if we can go in depth in relationships, if we can actually uh, even put a, put a deeper purpose in the relationship, this is actually to make something in the person alive, to keep this life force in the person alive. Um, like say for example the baby is born and you can see that life force it's so clear when the, when the child is born because the child is perfection the child is clear you can see that life exuding from it and you instantly fall in love with it okay what happens if you can actually preserve that can you preserve that you know and often people say often people say oh you know when I met a person, they were really great, but then they changed. Okay, so what happens when you fall in love first, you know, that first honeymoon period of however you want to call it, you know, you then start paying unconscious attention to the person because you're so interested in them. You're, you know, you're in love, you, you know, you engage with them. So you're instantly paying unconscious attention to them. But what happens then? where does that go like what changes in the relationship and i believe the ultimate challenge is to be able to see that in somebody to be able to see it in depth to be actually able to see the true nature the true essence of that person and that is the most magnificent the most beautiful thing alive and then be willing to actually keep it alive i mean to be able to come out of your thoughts to be able to come out of your own concern about yourself and to be actually start to be concerned with that person and keeping that life or alive. i believe that this is the essence of even parenthood because parents if we know more we will be looking on how to keep this alive and we will be looking to bring this out to the world more because it's nature the power inside the person the light inside the person it's nature it's transformative it tra it transforms everything and everyone that is in in contact with i always see it almost like that life force inside every single person is like the oxygen the trees release nobody sees the oxygen yet this oxygen is keeping us alive and I believe that if every single person had had their life force to the surface, like children, for example, um, like true nature people, if they had that life force to the surface, that will continuously transform anybody that's in the radius of the person and even more. Because yes, energy may not be invisible for our eyes, but oh my God, it's incredible. And I am literally witnessing it myself how can you transform somebody uh, or people in your presence just by just by being um allowing that life force to come through so uh, i believe that relationships are very very important for that for that manner because if you're willing to to let life through if you're willing to let love through you you know we spoke about it earlier what happens when you allow love to to run through you uh, if you're not scared, if you're brave enough to allow love, that love actually enhances you in every single manner. It actually educates you. It, oh my God, it's incredible. And then what happens then if you uh, then see somebody that you love, you can actually see through the person and see that life force in them. And then I believe that this is the purpose of relationship, to be able to see that life force and to actually um, be able to draw it out and for it to live because what people do and i'm not saying that's wrong that's let's say we know that this is kind of how society has taught us that relationships could be quite controlling 
um, in, a, in, in, in a way that, let's say, suppresses that life force in the person. And then what happens? You keep suppressing that life force in the person because if you're not interested in the life force, if you're not even aware of that life force, then it's very easy to suppress it or to put it down. So what happens if you, if you are interested, if you can see that life force, you will never, ever, ever do anything to harm it, to harm that power, that life, that shine in the person. In fact, you will want to bring more and more and more and more from that person out. Because when that life force is out, it makes you happy. It does everything for you. It does everything for the person. And then I don't believe that anybody in relationships actually wants to make each other miserable. It's just that people maybe don't know about that. And maybe people don't even know that they can access something deeper in the person. Because I believe everybody is looking for something all the time. I believe people are looking for connection. They just don't know. Like if you, if you, if even even if you see people who are dating or something, you'd hear very often, "I didn't feel connection. I did, I didn't, I didn't feel connection." So what is that connection? That connection is exactly that. How open is the person, and how open are you to actually see something deeper into the person, and then you have that connection. But if you're closed up, you know, if your if your mind is full of thoughts, or if your mind is full of even things like oh, I'm not really good in relationships or I'm scared of relationships or I'm scared of love. And to be honest, this is majority of people out there. Everybody's terrified of each other. I'm telling you, personal, personal experience, this is, how, this is how it was for me as well. When people are terrified of each other, they can't open up, you know? And then how can you allow that life force, that essence of yours to go out if you can't open up? So, you know, there is so much more to relationships that we actually understand. You know, I'm even beginning to grasp some kind of understanding on a deeper level, if you wish. But I believe that everybody's looking for that connection, ultimately, you know. I believe, I don't believe that anybody just wants to have somebody to, to be around with. Because that, I mean, to be honest, to me, that's boring. You know, why would you want to be around somebody and not have experienced their true essence? Because, you know, it's not, the point is not to be with somebody because you don't want to be alone. The point is actually to be with somebody and really, really, really be with them. And that can only happen if you actually are allowing that love through you and you actually allow yourself to understand that there is so much more to relationships, there is so much more to love than you can actually even imagine. And there is actually that essence that everybody is looking for. You know, women are looking for that in men. Men are looking for that in women. You know, when you have your child, when you have your friends, you are actually looking for that essence. So I believe that the more clearer the person is, the more the person is able to let go of their thoughts, the more they can actually be with the person. And that's achieved through unconscious attention. And unconscious attention is something you can actually learn. And I believe that that is the ultimate thing that is going to change um, the quality of our relationships. Because I believe that relationships can really, 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 really make people happier. Much happier than they are at the moment. And that is also uh, a ripple effect for everybody out there that is in their perimeter. Um, I believe that relationships... If, if we allow ourselves to go fully into relationships, the right types of relationships for the right reasons, and if we're not that selfish just to look at ourselves, but actually to be able to look at somebody else and really search for that gold in them, really search for that life in them, I believe that you will actually be able to see it. Because if you are interested in something, even if you're made aware of it, this can actually happen for you. And, um, you know, even even since since experientially since since uh, being on the seminar, I can see people through a very different way. I can actually see their essence, and it's so beautiful. And it's so beautiful to actually see how they react when they realize that you have seen them. So, just to wrap it up, as I promise, it's going to be nice and short and sweet. <laughs> relationships are ultimately life-changing if we are willing to grasp our minds around the fact that love is a force 
Love is an extraordinary force and it is unconditional. It is powerful, it is immense. And if you're willing to allow it through you, it will change you, but it will also reward you because you will then start seeing the person next to you and really, really see them. And when you see them, that's the most incredible, most exquisite view um, that you can ever see anywhere because you will be able to see right into the person and you will see that essence that is created this whole everything that we are and um, that life force inside and i believe that's the most the most beautiful 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 thing on the planet and outside of the planet so um i'll just leave you with that for now um i believe really relationships are about seeing one another so thank you for watching thank you for joining us and share it if you feel like somebody might benefit from it but I believe everybody can benefit from um, knowing more about relationships and knowing more about yourself. But uh, thank you very much and we'll see you next Monday.